Karibu tena double updates popote pale ulipo mtazamaji wangu. Mimi na Tumai unaendelea vizuri kabisa. Niite Mr. Double J na kama kawaida hii hapa ni ulimwengu wa siasa. Nimeona William Samoruto akiwa na ndugu yake Rigadhi wanapambana ili wamrudishe nyumbani Johnson Sakaja gavana wa Nairobi. Na mimi nataka nimwambie gavana wa Nairobi Sakaja kwamba sipochunga mwaka saba atapelekwa nyumbani na aidha sifuna timu nyonyi ama babu wa wino kwa sababu kuna idea amekuja nayo na hii idea hata sio yake nadhani ametumwa tu huyu sakaja ana represent William Sabouto kwa sababu hii idea sio yake na vifaa hata nikwambie ni nini anasema mnakumbuka nyuma <coughs> kuna sijui ni alikuja na kitu fulani oh eh, matatu zifai siku kukaa towns na fast siku kukaa wapi huko Hai kalitaka vita. Ankumbuka Gashago akimwambia ni sisi tulikutafutia kura kwa hiyo chochote ambacho nataka kufanya hapa Nairobi lazima utuhusishe lazima utuulize ndio tukukubalie. So kitu kama hiki ambacho anakizungumzia Sakaja I don't think kama ni yeye ameamua I think yeye ametumwa. Na Sakaja ameambiwa nendo uambie watu wa Nairobi kwamba sasa hivi mitaa yote ya Nairobi tukijenga tunajenga mpaka floors na kitu huko juu. Kwa sababu sijui baada ya miaka ngapi kutakuwa na population sijui yenye inatosha na vipi. Sasa mnataka kupandisha manyumba, mpandishe manyumba na watu walikuwa na complaint sijui Kilimani, sijui nini nini. Huko Kilimani wamekubali kwamba majumba zipande juu. Huko kileleshwa, majumba zisonge zikisongaga juu kabisa. Ikae kama ushaikwenda pipeline, yani ikae kama pipeline imeomoka. Ushaikwenda kileleshwa uh, Kilimani ama Lavington. Uh, ushaikwenda pipeline utofauti ni tu you know, mazingira mabarabara um, um, mfumo wa maisha ulivyo huko yani huko ukiangalia vizuri utakutana uta na maana ni makamba wameanikanika manguo kuna kuna picha fulani but wanataka ifanane in terms of urefu wa nyumba unaelewa sasa watu walikuwa wanauliza maswali mengi sana jamani nyie mnataka kupandisha manyumba juu number one, mmejiuliza Mkisha pandisha manyumba juu drainage mtatengenezaje si wala squeeze hata na nizi ma, ma sewage si nini hizi mvua ikinyesha hata siku mbili siku tatu ime burst imeanza siku kwenda vipi mean hawawezi hata waka control wao wanataka wao wana focus na kujeng, kuongeza tu ikweni 25 wata watajenga by the way na wakisha jenga watashindwa hata ku control ni wapi waste inatakiwa kuenda inatakiwa kutoka wapi inatakiwa ku connect vipi We know these people. Tunajua. Again ukimwangalia vizuri Sakaja, in fact before hata niendelee. I think tunatakiwa kumsikiliza kwanza. Kitu ambacho anakizungumza Sakaja kwa sababu mimi simuelewi. Eti nyumba zote sio population itakuwa nini? Itakuwa Seme, kama mna idea, kama mna hawa, trust me, wana mind flani ambao mimi nimeiona. But before ni kuambie kitu ambacho unajaribu kupanga hawa watu I think mnatakiwa kusikiliza kitu ambacho alikuwa anakizungumzia Sakaja kuhusu nyumba ambazo zitakuwa zinajengwa Nairobi ambazo zitakuwa zinafika maana ni ma 25 floors huko juu. <laughs> Sikiliza hapa. Kulikuwa na restriction ya height ya manyumba. Sana sana karibu na airport. Hii Silia base coming down this way. Niliomba rais tulipozindua manyumba za Kiambio na pia manyumba za hapa eh, Kamkunji. That the reason those air base built zamani was to evacuate the president sale ya emergency akitoka state house kama kuna dignitary wakati ya emergency apelekwe haraka haraka isili apandishwe ndege nikamwambia rais leo ukajaribu utakwama hapo kwa traffic that it can't work you know you cannot be evacuated through isili anymore so tutolee your restriction i'm very happy rais amesikia akakubali the height restriction has been removed we are going to go up even up until 25 floors kwa hizi manyumba tunajenga na watu wa Nairobi waelewe vizuri Kozi nimesikia watu wakilalamika pande ya kileleshwa, pande ya, ya Lovington, ati manyumba yetu ilikuwa one story, ilikuwa nyumba ndogo, sasa apartment imekuja. Nairobi is 696 square kilometers. In 2050, Nairobi itakuwa na population ya 10.5 million people. Tutapanua Nairobi? Hapana. The only place we have to go is up. Hiyo ndo ardhi tumebaki na, hiyo ndo hewa tumebaki na. The only thing we need to do and I'm glad we are working with you ni kuongeza mambo ya sewerage, mambo ya maji, mambo ya drainage ili zile nyumba ambazo tunajenga ziko na capacity ya kufanya siwa na kufanya pia maji ifike. 
Alafu kitu kimoja ambacho nimekuja kuondoa na Sakaja pia ni sikuizi ya shanza ku reason kama Ruto. Ruto ni mtu ambaye anaacha vitu vya muhimu sana ambavyo vinatusumbua kama wa Kenya. Anaenda kufocus na vitu vingine ambavyo hata ukiangalia tu vihitaji sasa hivi. Kwa mfano, kitu kama housing. Kwa nani alikwambia ana nyumba? Nani alikwambia leo analala nje na ana pesa na aweze akapata nyumba? Hii ni town ndugu yangu. Kuna watu wanaingia kwa nyumba, kuna watu wanatoka. Just the same way kuna watu wanakufa, watu wanazaliwa. Kuna mtu anapata transfer anaenda kufanya kazi siku wapi? Kuna mtu kazi imemuishia anaenda anaenda nyumbani. Kuna mtu naye kazi imemuishia anatoka kwenye nyumba. Yaani uweze kuniambia nyumba zitakosekana Nairobi si in 20 what? Hiyo mimi kitu ambacho Sakaja ananiambia siwezi elewa. Hakuna cha hata kama ni 2050 watu watakuwa watu wangapi ndugu yangu? Watu wanakufa. Watu wanahama. Watu wana hawana rent wanafukuzwa. Unakuta yani kuna mtu anafukuzwa single room leo hajalipa rent. Kuna mtu mwingine anafukuzwa one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, one compound, mansion wapi? Watu wana maisha ina rotate kabisa. Uwezo kaniambia eh sasa watu wakiongezeka, watu watakosa. Hii kuna narrative wanajaribu kutuzia mimi hii narrative. Siamini kuna kitu tu wanataka kufanya lakini hawataki kutu. Yaani hawataki tu kutuambia ndio kitu ambacho wanataka kufanya. Uwezo kanikujia uniambie bwana watu watakuwa wengi sasa watu watakosa nafasi, watakosa sehemu za ku mm, never. Hii Nairobi? Ah, nyie bwana mdanganya bwana. Hapo nuno ukiangalia vizuri, wana focus na vitu vingine tofauti sasa mtu kama Sakaja. We Nairobi kuna matatizo mengi sana bwana. Sakaja popote pale ulipo anataka kuona hii video. Kuna vitu vingi sana anataka kushughulikia. Eh, yeah, vitu vingi sana. Yaani wewe swala la kujenga sio 25 floor, sio 5th floor ama sio nini hizo. Achana nazo hizo. Sasa hivi ungekuwa unaangalia hiyo Mama Lucy Hospital, watu wasishare vitanda. Hapo tungetungeelewana. Asa ukiniambia unataka kujenga manyumba ambayo ni urefu wa pipeline manyumba ambayo zinapatikana pipeline what do you mean Enda kanisa ongeza mavitanda watu wakae kwenye kitanda kila mtu sio mtu bana ugonjwa unakuja au ugonjwa uko chini anakutana na mwenzake wanashare kitanda wanaanza sijui kufanyana nini huko ah. Jamani Kuna vitu vingi ambavyo mnataka kupe e, wekeni hata madawa kwanza kwenye mahospitali yani tuanzie hapo yani ungekuwa unatufokea ukituambia naongeza madawa mwezi ujao tungeelewa ama tunapambana na wafisadi kwenye mahospitali kuanzia mwezi ujao tungeelewa lakini kuongezea mafloor si mangapi hizo tengeneza hata kwanza drainage eh tengenezeni drainage nyewe wenyewe mnataka kuongeza hizo floor si hizo hizo sehemu mashule ambazo ziko huko ni mashule za matajiri huko makilimani huko ma, ma, mariara schools mnazijua mnataka nani jengeni vitu kwanza mahospitali nini barabara nzuri drain nzuri nini msijaze jaze tu watu masehemu hizo sehemu kuna wenyewe bwana watu wa Kilimani wataishi Kilimani kileleshwe kila mtu aishi sehemu ambapo uwezo wake una hiyo idea ya kutuambia ma watu watakuwa wengi kwa hiyo sasa Nairobi tutakuwa tunapandisha msiwi manini semeni tu number one mnyie mnataka kutengeneza pesa kupitia hizi nyumba ambazo tunazizungumzia leo tunazidiscuss tunazi leo Wanajua the more mtu akipata space na ajenge mpaka juu hiyo ni rent nyingi. Na labda wana mipango na hizo nani? Eh hizo nyumba hata wasema hata wanataka kujenga hizo maaffordable house, houses zao hizo makilimani mawapi huko. We know them. Tunawajua sisi kwamba sisi hatujui hatujui kinachoendelea. So kuna vitu vingi sana vya kuconsider hapa mkitaka kujenga hizo nyumba ambazo zime, zimepanda juu. But before hiyo I think watu wanataka kushughulikia vitu vingine vya muhimu kwanza ndio tuende kwenye ma kujenga manyumba. So kwenye video hii hapa nataka nimalizie hapo lakini uh, bado nitakuwekea nataka nikuwekea video clip. Na hii video clip uh, I think kitu ambacho kipo ni kwamba wataalamu wa kwenye masuala ya nyumba wanajaribu kumfundisha uh, sakaja vitu ambavyo havijui. Ha, ha, Unaona kwenye swala la nyumba yani unataka kujenga manyumba si maflo ngapi, area gani, kuna vitu unatakiwa kuconsider, kuna vitu unatakiwa kuangalia pia na nini ili mwisho siku hata unapofanya hivyo kuna vipengele ambavyo wewe mwenyewe umefua umefua so kujenga tu kwamba watu wanajenga unaendelea mtazamaji wangu so uh, i think nikupe nafasi uitazame video hii hapa lakini ukimaliza hakikisha kwamba una subscribe uh, kwa ajili ya kuendelea kupata taifa nyingi na mpeki la wakati bye bye i live in bazi avenue lovington and the reason i'm here is because of the announcement that was made by the governor about extending uh, floor limits to 25 floors we think this is uh, not a bad thing but uh, we need to know from him how they are going to mitigate this, how they are going to take care of the roads, they are going to take care of sewage, drainage, traffic, parks, child play and all the places that are needed necessarily.
which are necessarily needed, environmental uh, a friendly area. That's where we live and we don't want it impacted negatively. So what are the concerns of uh, Lovington residents? The concerns of Lovington residents is that we have uh, a lot of uh, buildings coming up and these buildings are uh, against the zoning because our zoning currently is uh, four, four floors or less but there are uh, buildings coming up with uh, more than 10, 20, 30 floors and we are against this. So based on the governor's announcement, we think more are going to come up and uh, we are against this. We don't, we, we, we don't want this. We won't, don't want this until and unless they mitigate. They tell us what they're going to do about the sewage, what they're going to do about the drainage, what they're going to do, uh, going to do about the schools, the roads, the parks, spaces for children to play and uh, they have to provide that before they can build this. Otherwise, we are against, against this vehemently. It will reduce the quality of light because there will be problems with traffic, there will be problems with signals, signals for TV and, uh, and the phones, there will be problems with the roads, there will be infrastructural problems like uh, sewage, we don't, they have to expand sewage, we'll have a problem with sewage, we'll have a problem with the drainage, like now the drainages are not, are not bad, when it rains the water can go through but there are many people, it's going to impact, so that is, those are our concerns. And many other environmental problems because they're going to cut trees and you can't cut trees in Lovington. So those are our concerns. What are the recommendations of today's meeting? The recommendations of today's meeting is that uh, we all agreed that we're going to let the governor know through the media or through ourselves as chairman. I'm one of the chairmen of Embassy Avenue. We're going to let the media know that we're going to let uh, the governor know through the media that we are against this unless they provide to us a mitigating factor. Plus, we think this was a roadside announcement. We want them to legislate this, make it a law, and before they make it a law, we want our representation. So we are asking the governor to look into our concerns before this uh, building's take effect. According to uh, Governor Sakaja, saying that he has got back, back from, the government, from the government, mm -hmm. that is uh, William Bruto. Mm -hmm. What can you say about that and the affordable housing? You see, this is the, all I can say is that it's good to have houses because we have less houses and it's going to help the people. But uh, affordable housing is a presidential uh, idea which has been embraced by the country and they have signed it into law. So I can't talk much about that. That's a law. What we, want, what we are saying is that we need more houses. Yes, we do need more houses. We need people to have places to live, especially in Nairobi. But remember, land has a, six, uh, a fixed supply. You cannot expand the land, uh, the, the, the size of the land. So based on the supply and demand law in economics, you cannot ex expand the land beyond what it is. That is why they're suggesting that we go up, which is fine, because it will accommodate more people because Nairobi population will increase. That's fine, 100% fine. But you need to see how you're going to deal with the, the services which I've just mentioned. Now, I live in New York for many years over a quarter century, and New York is very, very, very congested. There are a lot of buildings in New York. In Singapore, I've been to Dubai, and this is fine, but you have to provide these services. You have to tell people what you're going to do about the sewage, what you're going to do about the roads, uh, parks, or drainages, drainage system, and, and all for children play, and, and all that is needed. So it's not a bad idea. We just need to know why, how are they going to do, how are they going to mitigate this. I'm the president-elect of the Institution of Engineers of Kenya. Today we have been privileged to join our colleagues in the um, construction industry, AK, KPDA and others, to take a position on the wool declaration that uh, the governor of Nairobi, Honorable Sakaja, declared that now we are going to have buildings arising up to 25 floors in a couple of um, um, estates that we knew the height of the buildings was limited. Now, we are concerned because that roadside declaration goes against all good um, ways of carrying out urban planning. We believe that um, urban planning should be carefully thought out and it is very unfortunate that as governor he can wake up and make a roadside declaration. We do believe that uh, planning should precede development. It is not the other way around. He cannot wake up and make a declaration on development that is not backed by uh, real uh, and good planning. And the main reason for us as engineers is that um, you do not just need to develop a building. You need to 
uh, have the supporting infrastructure. You need to think about water supply. We know this city, people are going weeks without water in their taps. You need to think about sanitation. We know in this city, sewer is bursting, bursting every here and then. We know there are places whereby they don't have public sewer. You need to think about uh, roads. We know there are places that it is inaccessible, even in, in case of an emergency, to, to, to bring in emergency vehicles. And so our concern is that um, you need to have proper planning before you, you embark on development. And our statement today, which we have issued jointly with AAK, KPDA, and other BMOs in the infrastructure industry, is to make it clear to the governor that he should lead efforts for proper planning and not add into the confusion. Think about social amenities, hospitals, think about schools. You do not want to put up buildings where people are going to be living there, they cannot have access to light, they can, and, then, and therefore our kids get stunted growth. And so uh, the, the, the main theme and the main message today to the governor is please, please think about urban planning before you talk about development of 25-story buildings in Kileleshwa and other places where order development is very necessary. It is not an Arab issue, it's a Kenyan issue. Planning is a Kenyan issue, housing is a Kenyan issue, land is a Kenyan issue. And if we do not set the precedent right now here in Nairobi, what will happen to other counties? What will happen to other cities? We're talking about Mombasa, Kisumu, Nakuru. What will happen to the capitals of other counties? So this is the place where things need to be done properly. Planning needs to be done properly so that by the time the other counties and the other cities are getting their plans and their development plans and their master plans, then they will have something to lean on. And also, residents and citizens will be able to understand that they have a say in this matter, that they're able to raise their voices as well. You know, we may think that um, we will leave this to the capital, but no, it will come and affect you one day as a Kenyan, wherever you are, whether you're in Mombasa, Transoia, Machakos, Turkana, Washingishu, wherever you are, it will come and affect you. So let's set the precedent now and demand our rights and make sure that plans are followed so that we're able to live in a, in a, in a common community with... Um, access um, for children, for religious organizations, um, and for our communities in general. It is not a class thing. Kenyans must understand. It's not about class. It's about planning and it's about community. So what are the concerns of the um, Well, the thing is, we're also uh, part of uh, what was called Zone, four, uh, zone 5. And um, zone f like each zone has its own um, regulations as far as floors are uh, concerned and all that. Now the, the residents association I represent is not even on the sewer line. We're not on the sewer line. So everyone has their own way of disposing of their sewage in septic tanks and all that. So um, if de uh, large scale development comes, then it will already be a problem with sewage. At the moment, we're not seeing that problem, but it is creeping up. And we're saying if it's happening to other estates, we, no one wants the problems that happened and the, the disorganization and chaos that happens in, in pipeline. Those guys are really suffering, you know, but no one wants to have that. So in Loresho, yes, we're still in the greeny, green and leafy suburbs, but it doesn't mean we cannot fight for the entire city. It doesn't mean that. And we're being encroached on slowly. Development will happen, yes, but let it be planned. Let us have green spaces. Let us have uh, areas where children can play, surely, you know, children can walk without a problem. Pedestrian ways are, are, are marked, that there's street lighting, you know, and there's, that, there's less um, um, problem with criminality. So it's, it's not about where you live. I lived in Jamuria State a long time ago, and when I go back and look at that place, I, I, I feel pity because there used to be playgrounds, there was, uh, um, uh, you know, there was, there was lighting. Uh, people would even leave their gates open, you know. It, there was so much community going on, but now things have changed. So this is going to cascade to every single part of Nairobi and eventually to the rest of the country, if we're not careful and we don't demand our rights. What are the recommendations to the Sakajas? Uh, Listen to the people. Because, you know, in the end, um, I'm a political scientist, so I know that when it comes to politics, you are there entrusted with, with a public good as a public official. You have a public good that has been put into your hands. It's not yours. 
to play around with. And public goods are supposed to be for generations to come. You're entrusted to uphold them and keep them for generations to come. So if, if you don't listen to the people and don't realize that your time is very short, You'll be here one season. Last season there was somebody else. The next season someone else will come. You know, listen to the people. I think that's the first thing. The second thing is follow the plans and policy. Plans are there for a reason. So why not follow the plans that have already been set in place? New plan has been mentioned today. Um, now it needs to be sent down to the local residents, uh, uh, residential areas so that they can also do their own plans. And you had, um, the, I think it was a chairperson of AAK said that um, Mukuru have already done their plan, you know, and that is so laudable. Yeah, but how are we to do that if left, right and centre buildings are coming up with no plan? And I think that's my message to this government of the county, that you need to listen to your people and you need to know that power, power is not eternal. Power is not eternal. Yeah, you're entrusted with the public good um, and hold that and maintain that for future generations.